Hello and welcome to another Japan Crate video. So today we have in front of us the September 2022 crate. Now, this arrived pretty early because uh, it's still kind of near the end of August. We still got about a week and a half to go. So uh, very curious as to why this arrived so early, but we're going to crack into it anyway. So just a quick rundown for those of you who don't know Japan Crate is a monthly kind of Japanese snack subscription box. They're all kind of themed, but obviously you don't know what's going to be inside them. So I'm going to open it up in this video and show you guys what's inside. Uh, and just a disclaimer at the start, I'll only be eating one of these snacks on this video. If you don't want to see the rest of the snacks, though, I will be making a separate Japanese snack reviews video later on, uh, a couple of weeks down the line, after I've had a chance to kind of eat everything. Uh, so. Let's take a look at this month's crate. Uh, now, I've managed to peel off my address, uh, which is which is kind of cool. That's that's nice to know. Uh, so let's take a quick look at the box. That is the website, which I'll leave linked down below in the description. That's all their social media, if you want to follow them on that. I don't really use social media much, but, you know, it's, it's nice to know it's there, I guess. And there's the logo, and it's plain underneath. So... Without further ado, I'm going to go slice open the tape now and we'll take a look inside. Alright, it is open. So, like always, I'm not going to show you guys anything either. Uh, today, ooh, hey, we have the 8th year, eight year anniversary version of Japan Great, established 2014. Very nice. And that says, Amede... Amedato. Uh, Amedeto which is congratulations, I do believe. Uh, and so, you kind of, ah, that's really cute. Uh, I believe, I remember again the fifth anniversary crate, I think it was. I'm not gonna show you guys what's inside because that also shows, out, shows off what's inside the crate. But I will be using it as a handy little guide to when we pull stuff out. So, without further ado, I'm just gonna grab stuff, so. First up is Remicon, Remicon, uh, Choco, Choco Remicon, cool, don't know who that is, uh, that says Baera Mirku, or Baera Milk, I don't know exactly what that means, but interesting, um, Vanilla Milk, I'm guessing that is kanji, so unfortunately I can't read that, but uh, yeah, let's take a look at what this is. This is Shimmy Choco Salt Vanilla, and they're like star-shaped things uh, that have vanilla milk flavour with salt in them. Pretty cool, honestly. Uh, next up is, ooh, it, it's, it, there's a hippo, Moomin Valley Biscuit. Wow, okay, well, it, technically it's a hippo, it's like a ghost hippo, uh, with a moomin on. 100, uh, is that 100 years, or, presuming there aren't 100 moomins in here, but, uh, okay, that's, that's an interesting one. So they look like a cocoa biscuit, so obviously chocolate, they look like moomins. Very curious to, yeah, okay, interesting. This is the Moomin Cocoa Biscuit. Uh, so the, the cover is for the preview one is actually different, so I'm guessing there's different Moomins on different covers. Also, shout out Tim if you're watching this. Uh, Tim hates Moomins, so <laughs> I'm sorry I subjected you all to that. Uh, let me know in the comments below what you guys think of Moomins. I've never watched anything with Moomins on, but, uh, you know, I guess they're, they're kind of cute. Ishi Beji, Ishi Ishi Beji, Ishi Veji. Sorry. Um, right. These are. I'm gonna guess they're like veggie, savory, like crackery stick things. The the illustrations are amazing. That carrot is kind of happy. Uh, yeah. Right. Let's see what these are. These are vegetable sticks. Uh, yeah, they're kind of cracker sticks uh, with, you know, lots of vegetable goodness in them. I, I love, I love the packaging. That is incredible. Right, next up, uh, let's grab, oh, okay, this is bigger than, ooh. Uh, oh, Shin Chan. This feels like, cough, no. I was gonna say, 
cotton candy. Wait, no, it is. But it's got like a plastic ball in it. Ah, this is a DIY thing, I reckon. Uh, this is Dori... Drink. Drink. Oh, there's drink. Okay. Da. Drink. Da. 12. Um, oh, oh, so that's the plastic thing. You, like, put that in and, like, you make, like, a potion. Oh, okay. That's interesting. Wow. This is cool. Okay. Wow. So, right, I'm gonna look that up. But, yeah, I guess you make, like, candy drinks or something using different powders. All right. This is Shin Chan's experiment. Um, yeah, you kind of pour the powder in, it changes colour and everything. Honestly... I think in the history of Japan Create DIY um, things, this is one of the coolest because you've, you've got a little bit of a prop as well, the like conical flask or whatever you you call it. That is going to be really fun. Uh, so I'm going to be doing that on the next episode of Japanese Snack Reviews. Well, the one after. So I would like to apologise to everyone watching this. Uh, if you're still waiting for August 2022's Create, um, the the snack reviews for that. I am a little bit late with it. Unfortunately, I've been incredibly busy this month. And I haven't really had time to be home, let alone the sort of filming snack reviews. So they'll be in two episodes time, uh, but they will be coming out. Don't worry, I am still filming them. They're just going to be a little bit late. Uh, is this sour paper again? Uh, okay, this is Dome... Hey, wait, hang on. Oh, yeah, no. Paper. Wait, I, I swear that's Dome paper, right? That, so, it, it's that, that's definitely paper, but that's not... Uh, okay, cool, right. This looks interesting, though. This does look like sour paper, but that's not sa or wa. So, okay, let's see what this is. This is Umi paper and uses uh, real plum, which is interesting, so it's going to be quite sour and stuff. Japanese plum, for those of you who don't know, is pretty sour. The um, Japan Crave have had a few plum flavoured things in the past, and honestly, yeah, they are, they live up to their sour nature. Ooh. Oh, it's something about cola. It's beko, uh, peko, sorry, shibeto, uh, shibe. Do shapeto beko. Okay. Uh, yeah. It well, it feels like a lollipop, um, and there's like lots of you. You kind of dunk it in this, and I'm guessing it tastes of cola. Uh, but yeah, it's kind of like a lollipop with some uh, sherbet kind of stuff at the bottom. Let's see. This is sherbet pecola. Um, so yeah, as as I said, it's basically. It's a lollipop with some sherbet at the bottom. It's all cola flavoured and it kind of fizzles or something. Kind of interesting. Next, ooh, next up we have like a cylindrical thing. How am I meant to read that? Foo, is that foo? Futa ria, futa risa. Man, that's, that's all over the place. It's, it's hard to like, Okay, interesting. Uh, this feels like it's going to be a kind of cylindrical sweet, maybe plum or grape flavour. Okay, interesting. Let's see what this is. This is Funya Reach Soft Candy. Uh, yeah, it's like mild grape flavour. Apparently melt in your mouth. That's pretty cool. Uh, next up. Okay, I'm going to grab a sort of big one. Ooh. Oh, hang on. That is Asane. Arane. Uh, hmm, I can't read the kanji, unfortunately. All right, this is this says French dressing. French dressing. French dressing. What? Isn't that like balsamic vinegar or something? Right? No. French French dressing. It doesn't sound familiar. I don't know what that means exactly. But I think they're potato chips, or maybe they're kind of biscuity things. Let's find out. This is Arare French dressing, and yeah, they're kind of uh, rice cake kind of things, uh, or rice snacks rather, that taste of French dressing. Let me know in the comments what French dressing is. Oh, well, I guess I'll find out when I eat them, but uh, is it like kind of mayonnaise y kind of stuff? 
No, I don't know. Next up, it feels familiar. It is Kit Kat. Ooh, goddamn, cookies and cream. Okay. All right, you've got me there. I am incredibly interested. It looks a little bit like Oreos, actually. Cool. Right, let's let's have a read. All right, this is the Cookies and Cream Kit Kat, and apparently, according to that, they're best ch served chilled. So that's interesting. I've never really thought to serve these chilled. Well, I might, I might uh, give that a go actually, uh, if I remember to do so. In the review, there is a 50% chance I will do that. Ooh. <gasps> okay, right. So we had one of these two months ago, I think. Um, and this was grape flavoured. This, however, is watermelon flavoured. Uh, and it's got that bear. I'm incredibly excited for this. Watermelon is my favourite flavour of sweets. Uh, hands down. Like, it's, it's so nice. Right, let's see exactly what these are. These are watermelon gummies. Uh, yeah, they're kind of soft with a bit of like a juice kind of thing inside. They are amazing. Uh, I'm pretty sure I've had the cherry ones a few times now, but I didn't know they even made watermelon things. That's exciting. That is uh, very, very exciting. Ooh, this is Umedameshi. Ume uh, they're like balls or something? Cherry? Maybe? Cherry fl- I don't know what's- go. What's- I can't- um, what, is that like five people combined into one face? I don't- no. I'm gonna find out. This is Ume Plum Candy. Uh, so yet again, kind of as with the other plum thing, Japanese plums are very, very sour. Uh, so these are really sour little ball things. I might have the uh, sour plum, uh, like, paper, I think, for the snack I'm going to have this episode. Uh, so I'm very curious. Uh, I'm not great with sour things, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, and this is Mikan. Uh, so this is orange. Obviously, as you can tell, there's an orange there. Uh, I think I've had these before. They're like hard orange ca uh, like candy gummy things. They're quite nice, though. Let's check. This is Mikan Mochi. So I was wrong, actually. This is Mochi. It's just like hard Mochi, I guess. That's that's really cool, actually. I, I didn't realize these were Mochi. So they, this is different, I think, because I think it was gum last time or something like that. Very, uh, very curious. Next up. Oh, it's uh, pie. So this is Choco Pie. Coolish. I guess, like, ooh, also very reflective box. God damn, that's very hollow. Pulled a hollow there. Coolish, I'm guessing, is like another brand with vanilla cream, I'm gonna guess. Um, yeah, I've had Choco Pie before. Very excited to see what this even is. But yeah, I'm guessing like sort of vanilla or something. It does say Baera. Baera. So, I don't know. Let's see. This is Pie Fruit Coolish. So, it's vanilla flavoured. Uh, they're small, like, you know, pies, like choco pie, basically. And apparently, they also can be eaten cooled or chilled. So, I might have to chuck these in the fridge with um, my Kit Kats. Now, I'm just going to. Oh, never mind. I've got more, th more things than I expect. Oh, God, there's a. Massive cave in. Let's see. We, uh. Oh, oh, yo! Oh, okay. That's cool. Right, so this is obviously gum. Uh, they're, you know, they're small. These are sort of like, uh, 100 yen or 10 yen. I don't know. These are very cheap things you find in the Gashi scores. But we've got, a uh, Super Saiyan Rose Goku. Very nice. Okay. This is Dragon Ball Gum. Uh, and yeah, apparently the packaging has one of ten designs. So that's cool. I'm, I'm glad I got Rosie. Um, in terms of like super characters, I think Broly would have been the coolest one to get. Or like Golden Freezer. Kind of a fan of it. Ooh. Ooh. What is... What is this? This is... This feels weird. It's like... Air tightly packed. It, it almost feels like, like a tube of toothpaste. I mean, I think it's just 
a gummy sweet or something, but it's like, cold? I don't know what this is. This is really strange. Uh, lemon or, or orange flavoured? Let's take a look. Alright, this is wild. This is Yakimokan. Uh, and this is a sweet potato. I, I don't know if it, like, actually is a potato or, or it's, like, a sweet that tastes like it. You know what? I'm going to have this at the end. I'm going to open this up at the end of this episode and we'll take a look together because my curiosity is incredibly peaked now. So it's a, it's a Japanese sweet potato. I'm going to put that to the side there so I remember. We have... Ooh, it's Choco Ball. Choco Boru. Um, you, you're right, dude. I, uh, <laughs> that's a weird design. Uh, I think this might be regular chocolate flavoured. Although there might be something inside. I can't really tell. And unfortunately the gold, uh, I can't read behind it. But yeah, this is Choco Ball. It's been a while since I've had them, but they are very nice. Let's see. This is Choco Ball. Uh, and yeah, so basically it's got like a biscuity uh, centre and it's like chocolate outside. Very cool. Uh, it's been a while since I've had Choco Ball, actually, so I'm incredibly happy to see that. And I believe... Oh, oh my God, there's even more stuff. Uh, oh. Oh, okay. Um, I can't remember the name of this gum, but it says Gamu. Uh, so I'm guessing this is like... It's the same one that turns your tongue blue, but can you guess what colour it turns your tongue? It's probably green. Uh, right, let's give it a look. This is green chewing gum. Uh, so it's green apple flavoured, and yes, it turns your tongue green. So um, I had the blue one a while ago, actually, whilst a friend of the channel, Tim, was over when we were filming a poke openings episode, and my tongue did indeed turn blue. So looking forward to that. Uh, right, so all that's left is for the drink. I always keep it till the end because the drinks are pretty hype. Uh, Furimu. Furimu soda? Warimu. Warimu? Furimu? I. Oh, cream so. Oh my god, sorry, I, I had like a mental thing there. So that's K. That's Ku. But. There's meant to be like a little thing at the top, no? Cream soda, okay. That's very nice. Don't recognise the brand, I'm not gonna lie. Hey, take a quick look at the tin. I always quite like, Japan has weird tins. There's like that tiered kind of thing there. That's really interesting. Right, let's see what make this is and stuff. This is cream soda and it's in a kind of retro can apparently. So this is meant to look like some nostalgic old cream soda can, I guess, from Japan. So, very interesting. I, I love cream soda. It's one of my favourite kind of pops or sodas. So, definitely looking forward to giving this a try. Right, so, I'm going to go arrange everything in the background now. We'll take a last look and then I'll try this sweet potato snack. So, BRB. Alright, I am back. So I've tried to lay it out uh, decently well. It's kind of hard to layer everything, but you've seen everything in detail. And I've got to say, this is quite an exciting spread of stuff. There's some really interesting and weird stuff going on. The Shin-chan thing is definitely very interesting. There's quite a few like varieties on things. There's quite a few cola-flavoured things, so kudos to uh, Japan Crate there for keeping that going. Cream soda is very much uh, something I'm looking forward to. They're just a ton of really interesting stuff, really. So, without further ado, I'm going to grab one of these really interesting stuffs. Uh, and that is this sweet potato sweet thing. Uh, so I'm going to try and open it and see what's inside. That didn't end well. Hang on, be obby. All right, I'm back. So I managed to kind of open it. It's a very tight fit, uh, the packaging. So I had to kind of snip the top off. Uh, and this is incredibly sticky. Now I've, I've tasted a little bit because it got all over my fingers, but thankfully I think I've got it kind of open now and I can just squeeze the tube up. Uh, so this is what it looks like. Um, <laughs> interesting. It looks very like dense and, and sort of it doesn't look like a sweet potato, necessarily, but I'm going to go give it a bite. So, here we go. 
Wow. That. That is interesting. That actually tastes like a sweet potato. Kind of. Um, so I, I've had sweet potato fries before. I don't think I've ever had sweet potato on its own. But this is really interesting. It's got the texture of a potato. Um, and obviously it's it's very sweet. But it does have that like underlying potato-y kind of taste as well. This is really interesting. I'm I'm glad I'm glad I tried this now because like it's strange. It's not it's not as sweet as you would think it is. It's a little bit savoury as well. It's like it's got a sweet kick to it, but it's not just sweet. That's really interesting. That's wow. I I I'd eat one of these again if I had the chance and the opportunity. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Cool. Well, on on that note. Uh, I'm going to leave you guys to it. Let me know in the comment section below if you also got Japan Crate or whatever. Um, let me know if there's anything here that you highly recommend I try. As I say, the um, I'll be doing Japanese snack reviews, which is like the follow-up video to this, where I try a lot of these snacks. Probably not all of them, because some of them are fairly standard, like Choco Ball. I might not do, because it's fairly simple. But, you know, we'll, we'll see how it goes. But let me know in the comments if there is anything you particularly want to see in those videos. Because then I can make an effort to actually just, you know, specify that I will do those. Um, yeah, and that's about it. So, thank you guys very much for watching. I will be doing some more Japan Crit. I've got a subscription going on now. So, be getting one for next month. Or, well, probably be getting October's uh, midway through September or something. So, keep an eye out for that. And keep an eye out for these snack reviews. And until next time, goodbye.